swim over here. We'll pull you aboard. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to more Dark Corners of the Earth. As you remember last time, we had made our way through the Order of Dagon. And, well, we found ourselves cast adrift into the ocean, I assume, where we have apparently been picked up by a local boat. And, well, they seem friendly enough, but something does seem a bit off. Jack, our friends in the FBI have been putting the screws on some of the local. They're a crazy bunch, but all evidence points to a stronghold somewhere below Devil's Reef. Just 20 minutes ago, we lost contact with the sub that was patrolling those waters. Thank you, Officer Winter. Their last communication was just some gobbled message about an underwater sea. We've got to make our way to the reef and find this stronghold. The old smuggling tunnels that lead below the seabed will be our best option. Look, I appreciate you pulling me aboard, but what you're talking about sounds like suicide. Nonsense. Lieutenant, let's plan the landing in my office. It's a good job we spotted you. The waters around these parts are no place for swimming. So it appears we're still in the general vicinity of Innsmouth, or at least closer to what is referred to as Devil's Reef. We have also been stripped of all of our weapons, obviously. Well, they probably became completely waterlogged when we were in the water. But for right now, we should just try to take a look around and at least get our bearings on the boat. Also, I can't even begin to perceive what time of day this would be. It's pretty bright for night, but I don't know, maybe it's a stormy day. But it's always good to talk to some of the crew members and get a feel for, I guess, the uh, the general atmosphere of the boat. No sign of any danger. Can't stop now, Jack. Got to keep on patrol. Hmm. Seems kind of weird to be on patrol with such a uh, small deck, but. I can't really question their motives. But yeah, most of the doors are actually locked for right now. Pretty much the only one available is the bridge. No Lots of complex naval equipment up here. There's not much you can do up here, Jack. See if you can give the guard a hand on deck. But I was just down there. Okay. He told me to come up I'm here. Take a break. Keep your eye out. Yeah, for some reason, you actually have to come up here first before you can actually trigger what you need to down on the uh, the main deck itself. Rather confusing, I guess. They just mean for you to amble along the ship until you magically find your way up to the bridge. But we now have a few more NPCs we can talk to on the deck. You got any smokes, Jack? Afraid not. Water ruined them. Ah, oh, shit. What are you looking at? I could have sworn I saw something in the water earlier. Yeah, and I can't express enough how awkward the wave motions are in this game. How you holding up, Henson? Listen, Jack. I've been to a lot of places, and I've seen a lot of screwy shit. But there ain't nothing that's ever been standing once this baby's... Hey, what the hell was that? Johnson! Wait! Stay away from the sides! Get the rifle, Jack! We're under attack! Jack, help me guard the entrance! We gotta stop the ship! Jack, help me guard the entrance! So rather promptly, we are now attacked by... Well, I guess, rather evolved Innsmouth citizens. These particular fishmen are a little bit more hardy than their land-bearing stock. And 
well, it's kind of hard to tell due to the fact that we keep on getting new uh, semen. But actually, to get a hundred percent for an end rank, you actually have to keep, well, a reasonably, a reasonable number of these semen alive. It can be kind of hard because, much like lemmings, they will just run straight to their death with all these fishmen. Jack, come over here. Come on, ammo fast. There'll be more in the storage room. Here, take the keys. So after we have grabbed the keys from Henson, we now have to make sure we know where we're going on the boat. Storage is below us. Hurry. And head down to the storage room. It's unlocked. And quite frankly, for this entire ship area, we are pretty much going to be jumped from behind constantly by these fishmen. So. Honestly, if you're playing this yourself, it's always good to be on your toes at all times. Especially with the fact that as of right now, well, now we have a pistol, a shotgun, and the rifle. Rounds for the Tommy gun. I need to get these to Henson. But honestly, it's still fairly difficult to deal with these particular fishmen. They they can be kind of bullet sponges at times. Jack, no. the ammo! Please, Please Jack! Keep coming. One of them got me. My Watch leg's bleeding bad. I need a med kit. There should be one in the infirmary. Hurry! No! Don't have much time. Hurry. So yet again, we are brought to our second part of this fetch quest, which is involving getting uh, Mr. Henson there some medical supplies. I mean, we are pretty much full up on med kits right now, but I guess we can't give any to him. Also, what makes this even more difficult is when Jack decides to go temporarily insane and, well, the blurry vision does not help navigating the ship at all. Yeah, there are some additional rounds in here, which is always welcome along with another med kit. And it takes me a second to realize I should probably try to fix up my vision a little bit since I, I'm not actually sure where that emergency medical kit is. Yeah, the med kit is right here. Emergency medical kit. I need to get this to Henson quickly. But yeah, pretty much your the door is pretty much your shot. best bet in this particular area is the shotgun. The rifle is all right, but usually you're gonna have to deal with Over there. at least two enemies at a time, and you need to cut them down as quickly as possible. Thanks, Jack. We've got to hold them off as long as we can. We've got to stop them from getting in the ship. Well, they're getting on the ship and drove, so there's not much help in that. But this is pretty much our last stand before we head inside the ship itself. We're under attack! We can't let them inside! They just keep coming! The sides! They're coming up the sides! Stop them getting inside! Hey, I... no! Over there! Kill it! They go. Come back, you fish-faced bastards. <sighs> that was a close call. Well done, Henson. Most of the crew are dead, Jack. Why the retreat? I don't get it either. Some might say it's the calm before the storm. Take cover. Yeah, before we can actually fully head inside, there is one last, rather annoying bit to deal with. 
You gotta make sure and grab onto this bar, otherwise you're gonna start taking a lot of damage. That wave was no natural incident. It looks like there's some sort of witchcraft happening on the reef. Jack, try using the cannon scope to get a better look. Yeah, normally what you're supposed to do here is look through the scope on the cannon, and on the far island there, there's supposed to be three different lights. Those lights are actually the sorcerers that we saw in the basement of the Order of Dagon. And well, what you're supposed to do is pretty much snipe with your cannon, while also running back to cover here and grabbing onto this railing. But due to the fact that this game was not very well patched up or even tested on the PC, it, uh, it runs into a bit of an issue where you can't actually see the lights on the shore. Thankfully, there was a fan-made patch that came out that, well, kind of uh, gets around this by just making this section autocomplete after three waves, which is Take cover! very, very nice. You can still snipe at the lights on the shore there, but let's just say it's a bit tedious. Mostly due to the fact that the gun shoots in an arc, and there's no real indication to the player that they've managed to actually take out the light. So, you just kind of have to keep on guessing until the game magically tells you that you've complete the completed the section. Take it Officer easy, Winter. Thompson. Now tell me Thank slowly, your life, what's the situation? There's hardly any of the crew left, and, and it looks like some of those, those things managed to get below deck. Have you seen Captain Hurst? He's gone delirious, sir. Locked himself in his quarters. He won't answer the door to no one. With respect, sir, he's off his nut. Ugh. We need him to open the armory. Get inside! Run! Shut the door! Damn, I'm almost out of bullets. Gotta get below deck. Head for the armor. Mess hole's locked, sir. We'll have to head for the stern. Ah. Jack, you keep back and look after Officer Winter. I'll make sure the infirmary's clear. This Move way! It. Shut the door behind you! So now the ship is completely, well, overrun by these fishmen. We need to escape to the stern of the ship while also protecting our very wounded brethren. You always have to make sure and close the doors behind you. Otherwise, you will get very, very swarmed by fishermen. Hurry up! We're gonna make it! Hold the door! It's locked! I've got the keys! Run! That door won't hold forever. We gotta keep moving. The armory's not far. It's just through the main engine room. Wait! I'm sorry, sir. Th I th thought you were one of those things. No one got... He's badly wounded. He needs all his strength just to keep moving. Yeah, this boat trip is just going from bad to worse. Thankfully, we at least finally get a saving point now, at a, re at a relatively safe point, I should say. We also have some reading material. It's a personal diary of one of the crew. Nothing too major in this, it mostly just goes over the, well, rather obvious fact that things seem a bit off on board this ship, and, well, things seem a bit weird in, uh, in conjunction with the cult they're having to deal with in the local area. 
Also, mysterious storms coming from Devil's Reef. Well, we can assume that now, due to the uh, magic of Dagon. But we still need to get to the captain to get access to the armory. I guess we're a little uh, underarmed. This way. The captain's room's through oh, here. I shall not walk. You make me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of Captain death, Hurst, I it's will fear no Winter. evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, it's all right they now, comfort Captain. me. Everything's thou preparest under control. the table before me in the presence the of mine enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness Captain and Hurst, mercy open shall the door. follow me all the days of my life. Captain Hurst, And I will dwell Winter. in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Damn it! We need that armory key! We've got to find another way in! Oh. Oh. You go! I'll stay and look after him! So yeah, the captain apparently did not deal very well with whatever is going on right now. It's completely understandable. Though in comparison to the steadfast steadfastness of the rest of his crew, I don't know, maybe something uh just I don't think I should use just struck a little bit closer to home with the captain. I do find that there are a number of similarities with this particular chapter in a short story. A uh, short story of Lovecraft called The Call of Cthulhu. I would say if you have an opportunity that I would definitely try to, you know, read that short story or watch the silent film that was made of the short story. They did a really good job of it. At last, it's the key to the armory. And sadly though, we got the key to the armory. It's it was unlocked. a bit too late for our our avid seaman. Some sticks of dynamite, always oh. useful. And a little bit of an ambush there, and just to tell you that you did grab a very correct item with the dynamite. Now the question becomes for most new players is, well, what are you supposed to do with the dynamite? Blow open a door? It's locked. No, no, not exactly. You may have noticed that uh, before we ended up crawling through one vent, and there was actually another vent off to the side that had uh, what looked to be some well, spinning blades that we couldn't get through. All we have to do is lay dynamite and get the hell out. Normally though, I would consider this would have actually caused a rather large explosion that we wouldn't have wanted, but well there you go. Also we can see some graphic distortion. Yeah, honestly, just this particular area of the game is incredibly buggy all around. Kind of seems like the further along in the game they got, the less actual testing they did on it. Yep, yeah, we got a melee weapon again. 
Which we don't really need. Another med kit, which we don't really need. And where are, where are we actually finding ourselves? Oh shit! How the hell did you get in here? A small vent, a few sticks of dynamite, and a minor explosion. You idiot! Sealing the exits is the only way we've kept those damn things out! Well, you also kept me out, you asshole. There's nothing I can do. He's as good as dead. But yeah, this was the mess hall that forced us to make a detour to the stern. It's locked. What the hell? It's switched to auxiliary power. Oh, man, there must be an engine fall. Just great. We're sitting real pretty now. You'd better go and sort it out. Lay off. Have you been hitting the pipe? You're the engineer, you sort it out. I know nothing from nothing about ship engine. No way in hell! Those bloody things are everywhere! I already tried to get the welding kit from the cargo hold. We got jumped! Jesus, it was so fast! Only me and Paul got out alive! We had to lock Barry down there. Take these keys. With the welding kit, at least we could seal these doors, you know, give ourselves a bit more time. Yeah, the cowardly route certainly has been working for you, huh? Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to find a welding kit and some alternate means of going around the ship due to some newfound steam. Now for those of you who are curious as to what Urania is, it's not actually a reference to a Lovecraft story. Instead, Urania is actually the Greek muse of uh, astronomy. So I assume for early mariners, astronomy, as you could probably guess, was their means of tracking their way and figuring out directions and things like that. So obviously a uh, Greek muse for the stars is definitely something uh, a mariner would want. But where we're going was actually near that first save point we ran into the lower decks here. There's this little hatch to the side. It's unlocked. And for some reason or another, this is actually where we're going to be getting the welding kit. I assume maybe these guys might have been trying to do some last minute repairs on the hull. But did I mention the shotgun was great for this level? I just want to save really quick because while the journey back isn't exactly as easy as you would assume we actually had to make use of the welding kit before we can make it back because well it's a bit hard to tell but the engine is actually not running anymore first we have to turn off the steam heading up there and then use this ladder I shot down. This will actually give us access to the broken pipe that was shooting out steam up here. I think I found the problem. That'll need repairing before the ship's going anywhere. So we just use our welding kit on that.
And now, one would assume that it's simply a matter of getting back to the cowardly sailor in the mess hall, but... I don't need to raise Let's just say that I am still missing a key part of the puzzle. As the uh, as the avid viewer might be able to tell, well the engine still is not exactly running, which is a bit of a problem. Open the damn door. Not till you get this ship moving again. Yeah, it's at this point that the uh, new player will be well, told that information and will now be forced to figure out, well, how exactly you're supposed to get the ship running. So that did not get the engine running. And it finally struck me after well, a couple seconds, longer than need be, that there was actually another valve that I ended up having to turn. Open the damn door! Not till you get this ship moving again! Yeah, that other valve that I had to turn off to repair the pipe in the first place. And it starts a bit of a rumbling, and that is the engines coming on. Thank goodness you're back! <sighs> Gimme that! We've gotta seal the doors! There have been noises at the other entrance! They're trying to break it! Damn it! Do something! So I'll leave him down to, I guess, weld that door shut. And there's really not much else to do. It seems like all the fishmen are gone from the ship itself. And I guess the only thing really to do is, I guess, examine the amount of damage from the deck itself. Yeah, the other two cutters are completely gone, I assume swallowed in the sea. Looks like the coward get is just desserts, but we have a much, much larger problem here. Say hello to Dagon. Yeah, for some reason or another, we are forced to fight Dagon. And as you can assume... Well, actually no, this fight is actually pretty simple. All we have to do is lead Dagon to the front of the ship here and shoot him in the face five or six times. It's actually kind of boring. <laughs> 